We Alyssa, I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of the country. What? I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of the country. Stop it. I'm an Australian that's been trying to get my visa here in America and it hasn't been approved in eight months and they might not let me out. That's the raw reality that's of this. That's why they will let you out because it hasn't even been approved yet so we've already cancelled it. Well, this is it. I am feeling legitimately heartbroken thinking of getting rid of this weapon of travel mass destruction. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're getting rid of our beast, our weapon, our home, our safe refuge. But to think that another person will be traveling and exploring and seeing America for himself, that's an exciting thought. And the fact that we're moving on to another adventure and another chapter, that's an exciting thought. But I just, I kind of, I'm not going to lie, I woke up with a ball in my stomach this morning. How ridiculous is that? This thing is just a vehicle. But to me, this thing wasn't just a vehicle, this was our home. This was our, like... This was our exploring unit. Man, this is... Who would have thought? Who would have thought that a vehicle would be so special? Oh well. Goodbye, old girl. Goodbye, the Phoenix Fly. We're gonna miss you, buddy. We are gonna miss you. Man. There she goes. Goodbye, old girl. We love you. And we're gonna miss you. Goodbye, sweet Phoenix Flyer. Goodbye. So how do you feel, Lissy, that we Oh, <laughs> shivers. How do you feel knowing that we just lost our home, our American home, our piece of, our patch of safety and refuge is, is gone now. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to... <laughs> I think we need counselling. It looks so weird watching it drive away. Didn't it? I felt like, who's driving my van and why are they... I felt a little bit nervous for him because he's never driven an RV. Yeah. So it's like breaking through the bus. Yeah. That's what I was like. I was taking it so slow my first oh, week. All right. It's freezing. Don't worry, sweetie. Two more days and we're not going to be feeling like people are stabbing us with tiny needles all uh. over our face. Let's get back to Australia. What are you doing? Stop! There's one thing that I can see is going to be a benefit of having clothes all over the bed. And that's no! turn it into ah! a big puddle ah! of... <laughs> Was that fun? You want it again? Say again, again. Lyric, say again. <sighs> Again! Again! Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> That's how we celebrate not being able to get out of the country. Nathan! Stop saying that. But the truth and honest fact is, we Alyssa, I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of the country. What? I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of the country. Stop it. I'm an it's Australian dramatic. that's been trying to get my visa here in America and it hasn't been approved in eight months and they might not let me out. That's the raw reality that's of this. That's why they will let you out because it hasn't even been approved yet so we've already cancelled it. The truth is, I probably will get out of the country, but what I won't be able to do, maybe, is get back into America easily. Because so. there was, there's apparently been this new propaganda. Strong as ten regular men down on one knee. There's been new propaganda that they're going to make it harder for yeah. people from Australia to get back into America, and it's going to be more of an interrogation progress, progress process. So. Whose nose? 
Alyssa doesn't know that. Who knows know it. what it's going to be like for me to get back into America? figured I should probably do one last walk in the woods. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie, our last day in America and I am feeling the pinch. We've been hanging out with family and just enjoying the luxurious presence of humans here in America. That's nice. I really appreciate these guys. It's an interesting track. That's definitely deer track, I'd say. Look at that, all scruffled up in the one line. Family of deer just walloping through the woods. Woods? The woods? Yeah, so I'm definitely, I'm feeling sad, hey? We saw our motorhome drive away. We were packing up all of our gear. Man, I'm gonna miss this place. The land of the free, the home of the brave, America. I'll tell you a couple of things of what I loved about America. I love the audacious spirit of, of Americans. The general populace, I just felt like the general people that I'm meeting were very adventurous, free-spirited, trying to cut against the grain kind of people. I like that there are a lot of people here that aren't just trying to live the norm. You guys have got incredible variety of food. And I know that's gonna sound, oh no, he's talking about food again, but you guys really do have a very special variety of food. I feel like I could try a new set of, a new variety of taste flavors every single day. Your usual grocery store would have, it's probably got like triple times the variety of food and snacks and flavors <laughs> and, the th and the way you guys kind of mix things is really different as well and so you guys kill it when it comes to food and taste I love I love the pride that you guys have for your country coming from Australia we definitely have, we're proud of where we come from but you guys just take it to a whole nother level you take it to a whole nother level America and I'm super Super stoked and grateful that I got to experience that sort of vibrato. I just love your vastness. I love the like variety of landscape and the way that you I love the way that your country changes and and that's been nothing but like an absolute joy to experience. So I want to encourage you legends out there. I wish that I had a bit more time here to explore your country, but I want to encourage you. Get out and explore this freaking gorgeous nation. And I don't even mean get on a plane, buy an RV. I mean like, go to your map, go to Google Maps, pinch outwards and see where what is near you 
that has got like a point of interest or like a nice uh, forestry area or something like that and get out and take your kids out there, kick the ball around, go for a walk in, just experience it because it is so special. And another thing I wanted to say is I love you guys. After that last, the last video I put up of just asking you guys if you'd be interested in following us through Australia, I was like, I was so overwhelmed with like the love and support that you guys just threw straight back at us. And I just feel so blessed to, um, to have come here and to get the opportunity to have a friendship with so many people in America and we really appreciate it. I really want you to know we don't take it lightly. It's, I feel like every single person I meet on this planet can be a friend and so I, I take the relationship and the comments that you guys write as if I was sitting at a table chatting to someone over a meal. That's how, that's how like good it felt to receive the encouragement and the love and support that you gave. So I promise you that I will be making some incredible videos and showing you guys some of my local area when I first come back, but then also the conversion of a van hopefully and then traveling the coasts of Australia just to enjoy it with my wife and my daughter and to build some memories for the future. So a huge thank you, huge thank you. Alyssa and I just, we can't, uh, we just felt so blessed and that's the only, I guess that's the best way to put it. We felt so blessed. So thank you so much and um, yeah, let's make this world a better place. <laughs>